Jonathan Arthur DeBarge, better known as Chico DeBarge, was born into one of America's most influential musical families. While some of his siblings experienced success in the R&B group Switch and DeBarge, Chico launched a solo career and released his self-titled album in 1986 on Motown Records, which included the hit single, Talk To Me. It must have been uh, a good feeling to have such a big hit uh, with your first single. Yeah, it is. How'd your brothers and sisters handle it, you know? Proud Did they all of me. lift you up on the shoulders and with that? Yeah, they were proud of me. They encouraged me and everything. Several albums followed, and in between those releases, the Grand Rapids native had several brushes with the law. Don't forget, you can gain access to this audio and one unreleased video per month on the Real Reality Gossip Patreon. Details are in the description box. Now let's get into today's video. In 1988, Chico, his brother Bobby, and two other men were convicted of conspiring to smuggle more than two pounds of substances from Michigan to California. Facing life sentences and up to $4 million in fines, Chico's life and career were on the line. He and his brother were sentenced to almost six years behind bars. Upon his release, he married a woman named Andrea, who was the mother of his two children, and dropped the album Long Time No See that included the chart-topping hit, Iggin' Me. Some know, some don't, that I was incarcerated for five years, eight months, uh, which time I used uh, productively to uh, learn instruments. And uh, now I'm doing an album and I have an album out called Long Time No See, and it's reflective of what I've been through. Afterward, he continued to struggle with personal problems, but still managed to release the critically acclaimed 1999 album, The Game. Chico left Motown and released the 2003 album, Free, on Cook Records. While it appeared he was turning things around, old problems, plus new ones, continued to wreak havoc on his life. While riding the wave of success from his fifth studio album, Chico joined the theater production of Why Did I Get Married? During the play's October 2003 stop in Philadelphia, he hit up a nightclub with a friend and found himself right in the middle of some trouble. He told Sister to Sister magazine his friend was meeting up with a woman. Little did they know the woman was just using Chico's friend to make her boyfriend jealous. And get this, her boyfriend just so happened to be a notorious mobster. Chico said stepping into the nightclub was like entering a scene of the movie Goodfellas. The woman threw herself all over Chico's friend, so her boyfriend sent another girl to put them paws on her. When Chico's friend tried to break them up, the boyfriend sent in reinforcements and things got real grimy. In the skirmish, Chico ended up with what he described as a seven inch scar from his kidney to his lungs. Chico and his friend fled the scene and an unidentified Philadelphia Eagles football player came to the rescue. He stayed by Chico's side and encouraged him to hang on while they waited for the ambulance. Chico refused to snitch on the perpetrator, but the man was later identified as John Casanto. John was set to appear in court that December to face the music, but he would never have his day in court. Just one month after stabbing Chico, John was found slumped over in his kitchen with gunshot wounds to his head and back. The incident had lasting repercussions for Chico. He told Sister to Sister magazine he was prescribed pain medication after his hospital stay, and he eventually became addicted to the pills. Chico stayed away from the limelight for a few years. In August 2007, Chico popped back up in the headlines. According to TMZ, he was driving a Toyota Camry on the highway when he stopped in a turn lane and switched seats with his female passenger. Cops pulled him over and found substances in the car. Chico was taken into custody and held on $30,000 bail. According to the New York Daily News, he entered rehab to deal with his substance issues. By 2009, his wife Andrea was done with their marriage and finally filed for divorce. In his petition, Chico declined his right to ask for custody of their four children and requested visitation instead. According to TMZ, he also questioned the paternity of his two eldest children that were conceived prior to their marriage and demanded a paternity test. The results of the test are unknown. In July 2009, he released the album Addiction and it addressed his struggles head on. He told M Live he grew up seeing what substances had done to his siblings and initially wanted nothing to do with that lifestyle. 
we were playing in clubs and then drugs came and things started going bad for us then. I got into drugs real bad, crack cocaine, downers and stuff like that. And, you know, now I have kidney failure. I'm on dialysis. To promote the album, he joined R&B singer Joe on a worldwide tour. Though the album generated lots of positive reviews, it only remained on the charts for two weeks and peaked at number 93 on the Billboard chart. But poor album sales would be the least of Chico's concerns. He flew under the radar for a while until 2017 when he told Good Morning Washington he was going to perform a Prince tribute and had plans to work on a project with his siblings for a DeBarge reunion. He also let fans know he was coming out with a solo project, which he expected to be released sometime in 2018. As of this video, the album has yet to be released, but he did drop a single called Feel Good featuring Jim Jones and Capone Noel that same year. In 2019, he found himself back in the headlines after TMZ reported cops caught him in a Walmart parking lot attempting to unlock an SUV with a piece of wire. Thankfully, the SUV belonged to him, but he wasn't in the clear. The police thought he was acting suspicious, so they searched him and found meth in his pockets. Since there was also paraphernalia in the car, he was locked up but later released. On his Instagram, Chico said reports of him being locked up were false and the case was dismissed. He also urged TMZ to, quote, recant the accusation. By the time February 2020 rolled around, Chico was back on tour and back in the studio. He told On The Spot Live he was also working on a project with his brother L. Months later, in April 2020, Chico received the most devastating news. His eldest son, 35-year-old Dante Anderson DeBarge, was found stabbed in the streets of Van Nuys, California. According to Ace Showbiz, officers tried to provide aid to Dante, but he passed away at the scene. As of this video, the assailant is still at large. Chico has yet to address his son's passing, and our hearts go out to the DeBarge family. In January 2021, Chico made the news again when police in Burbank, California noticed his car didn't have license plates, and the headlights were off while he was driving at night. When they pulled him over, he didn't have any identification on him either, and he identified himself as his brother, James DeBarge. When police did a little more investigating, they found two female passengers in the vehicle along with two kinds of illicit substances. Chico was taken into custody and properly identified at the station. Police charged him with possession, DUI, and providing a false identity. He was locked up for 10 days before he was released on bail. Chico has had many ups and downs throughout the years, but despite the rocky road he has ventured down, he always seems to pull himself together when it comes time to make new music. For the sake of his health, his family, and his loved ones, we hope he'll be able to overcome his demons and remain focused on showcasing his amazing talent to the world. Let us know your thoughts on Chico DeBarge's career, and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.